Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102. In today's video, we will continue our security and hardening series. So this is going to be episode number three. We will talk about our security best practice uh, email alert. In this video, I will show you how to uh, set up the Monit custom email alert uh, on Opsense. So that's why um, we can detect uh, brute force login attempts in real time. That way you can stay informed about the unauthorized access attempts. If you not already uh, set up your Monit uh, email alert on your Opsense, you can follow the step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial that I released in the last video, and that will get you uh, up and running with the Monit email uh, alert. And if you already uh, set it up, the Monit email alert, we can uh, dive right into step number two which is create a custom server test. And before we get started uh, with step number two, uh, I'm gonna head over to the dashboard and do a version checks. So currently we're on a version uh, 24.1. Uh, in addition, before you uh, start doing anything, it's a uh, bad practice to uh, do a configuration backup. So you can go to a system configuration and backup and create a backup for your configurations. And let's get started with uh, step number two. You would go to uh, services and monit and settings. We will go to uh, server test settings. They call it uh, server test setting, but um, to make it easy to understand, it's uh, basically a trigger at the condition that you set. And if that condition is meet, it's going to trigger an email alert. Basically, that's what it is. All right. And we're going to select add to add the new one. And for the name, we're going to call it uh, portal fail login. And the condition is going to be a uh, content uh, equal quote authentication uh, errors and unquote. And the action is going to be alert. By the way, you can just uh, copy and and paste the from uh, my written tutorial. The link is going to be down in the descriptions. So when you've done that, we can save it. And then we need to go to uh, service settings. We're going to add a new alert. And for the name, it's going to be uh, Web Portal Fail Login. And the tab is going to be uh, File. And the path to the file is going to be uh, where the audit log is going to be at. And we're going to select from the test that the Portal Fail Login that we just created earlier. All right. And once you've done that, we can save it. And we're going to select Apply. And make sure you enable it as well. When you've done that, we can head over to alert setting. So in here, I already have a content uh, event selected. However, if you don't want to do a multiple event and you have a separate, I'm going to go ahead and check it up and I'll show you that you can actually do that. Okay, and we're going to add a new one. Recipient gonna be take domain one oh two at gmail.com. Gonna enable alert and then the event we're gonna select a content fail. So if it fail login, um it's gonna detect that, it's gonna trigger an alert. For the mail format, uh, there are different ways you can do it. Uh, however, if you're not sure how to do it, you can use the template that I provided in my written tutorial. So that's going to give you the date and the source IP address of um, uh, wherever the fail locking at him is coming from. And for the descriptions, it's optional. It's up to you. You want to put a description in there or not. We can call it fail locking at him. And we're going to save it. And select apply. All right. And lastly, we're going to test to see if uh, we're going to receive an email alert if there is a fail locking at him on the web portal. So I'm going to go up to lobby and log out. And then I'm going to try to log in with the root user, which is, is already disabled. But we're going to try to uh, log in with the random username and password. And if everything correctly config, we should get an email notification of a fail login attempt. So there it is. So it says fail login attempt detected. And the date. It's uh, today day and the time, and uh, also so it's gonna show you the source IP address. 
uh, that would lock in from uh, 192.168.1.100 if you have a better way how to formatting the templates let me know in the comment and i'll update my tutorial uh, i'm still figuring out how monit work and uh, currently uh, this is the best i can do for the notifications and that uh, concluded uh, today's video if you think the tutorial is helpful don't forget to uh, subscribe like and share thank you for watching thank you for your support and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye